fools, today I have my audio correct. Let's take a moment to study this situation. I don't believe... Oh, what is that? A giant mosquito? I think that's all I have so far, so let's see. Crow outside, I don't know if you can hear that or not. I should... Oh, look at all that mess. I should send my guys somewhere safe. Who do I have? I have Deep Well. That's back here. That's ooh. Deep Well's not going to work as well as it used to. Let's uh, erase some of that. There we go. Still a good place to send them. But I need them also to be near food. Well, I don't know. For the duration of a battle, that might not be so important. So what they should be is about as far away as they can be. You know what? This will do. I mean, there's no water source. Add new. Currently painting. No, painting is right. I wish there... When it comes to, like, zones... What am I thinking? Like, uh, deposits? Storage areas. Yeah. You should be able to paint them like this, too. I think that would be better for the game overall. What happened? Uh, but it's really sort of beyond my power to implement. Derp, derp. We'll send them all here, and we'll name it. Let's see. Um, Royal... Plaza? Oh, I'm glad I had enough characters for that. So now, let's send everybody to one of those two places. At least then they'll have access to water. Uh, military guys, I would prefer if they stay right here. Be right here. And actually, uh, that's not entirely good. I need... Yeah, I know, that was right. Add one more. Right here. I'm not sure if I want them... Hmm. See, if I do this, though, they'll probably f think it's okay to wander from um, zone to zone. And that won't be any good. By the way, I am recording in the early evening of Memorial Day here in the United States. Just got back from a weekend up in upstate New York, collecting Herkimer diamonds, for anybody who knows anything about that. That's mildly interesting. All right, let's, uh, whoops, I need to name this one too. Uh, upper, uh, Fortress, L1, L2. Okay, that's be good. So now let me do that. Excellent. And, uh, let him go. Let's see what happens here. All right, they're starting to come in. I don't know. There are a handful of people, including a military guy upstairs. Oh, already got some in a trap. I'm tempted to try. Let's, let's see. Oh, I can't even remember. Eh. Probably one thing I should do sooner than later. Let's cut that up. It's such a small force. I'm not sure I need to worry about this. Now, how do I make this... Oh, do task now. Mmm. There's no button set. How do I... Ooh. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that, but I think it'll be okay for the moment. Let's see. They're coming along. Coming along faster. A couple of archers in there, but not too... Ooh, actually quite a few. That's not good. I mean, they're gonna... Most of them will probably get caught in those traps, though. Come on, is anybody gonna do it? Okay, somebody's working on it. This is my first engagement. Ooh, somebody's unhappy about something. Look at all that message spam. Ooh, got a couple. They'll have to go through their own traps. This, you can see it's not enough to do any real damage to them. 
Oh, I kind of long for magma. Magma would clean out that whole area from all that unnecessary dwarf fluid. Ooh. They sure are taking their time. Oh, got one. Got another. In a different way. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, no, I lost a guy. Lost one bolt guy. Do I have any new mark novice? Hmm. Hello, engraver, suturer, farmer, planter, cook. Cook, you are now a marks dwarf. Ooh, the Baroness is part of the military. <laughs> uh but it looks like I have uh done okay. Do I have any trap dwarves? How would I know if I did? Oh look. Combat over just in time for us to trade. What have I got? Giant osprey meat. I'm not sure if they are up for that or not. Hagfish. Do I have anything useful? Menacing. Ooh, yeah, wood spikes. I should install some of those. Short swords. Very good. Ammo. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I have more ammo than that. Oh, there. I think the ammo is in transit, though. Let's see. Metal bars, that seems like a lot. That looks pretty good. Sand. More gem bins? Uh, why is that so dispersed? Trap components. Eh. Pets. Goblin cage. Can I actually sell them a goblin or is it just the cage? I've never had much luck with that. Dwarven syrup. I wouldn't mind, but it needs to be in something that's not wood. And all of these appear to be wood. Okay. Crafts, skull, some totems. Uh, I'll, I'll send that along. Instruments, tools. Hmm, <laughs> doesn't look very good. All right, here it is. Urvad has been laid to rest. Now let's see. These guys were known. Do I have anybody else? No. Okay, good. I like the idea of having them pre-arranged like this, because then. I have a better idea of whether or not there's somebody simply missing that I don't know about is missing. Yeah, they're still cleaning up the debris. You know what, though? Oh, look, right there, right there. He's cleaning and making a mess while he cleans. That's great. But I have seen them do it. I've seen them clean. So it can be done. I hear or read, rather, that, um, I, that they will clean manufactured surfaces, smoothed, engraved blocks, stuff like that, but not like default surfaces, I guess. Looks like the giant hamster is finally trained. Oh, wait, a giant hamster, right? Oh, crap. I already did some trading. In fact, I don't think I have anything left to trade them, but maybe they also have a giant hamster. Oh, was it the Facebook page? Uh, Dwarf Fortress? Lots of people use it. It's great. But uh, somebody posted a picture of something, I can't remember what, but I, I mentioned that giant guinea pigs would probably make excellent war animals because they have the giant teeth. Like, they could literally cleave any goblin or troll in half. But not only that, when they do that squeal they have, it would deafen everything and ears would be bleeding, you know, all the goblins. From miles around, it'd be fantastic. Oh, I forgot what kind of stones I already have set aside. So wait, these two are both economic stone in the white variety. Oh, they're separate though. But these two are the same. Well, that's good. And this is what? Other stone obsidian. That's probably all that is because obsidian usually is by itself. Stone amazonite, microcline, serpentine, olivine. Those are the things that are sort of on the green to blue side. Uh, Kimberlite. Yep, that makes sense. And these guys are what? Stone? Other stone? Chert? That's brown. Cinnabar, Jasper, red. Putting stone, petrified, brown, 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 and red. Okay. Sylvite? I might be yellow. Rutile, red. Bauxite, brown. Orthoclase, yellow. Okay. So blue, green, yellow, red, brown. But I do need some stuff here that's not that and this is going to be a tricky 
business, but I'd like just typical gray stone like this. And let's just deal with it first. As you can see, it's quite messy. Uh, get rid of everything, and then go with, say, diorite, right, oh, andesite, dacite. Not, yes, just guessed, just guessed. Nice, that is. Mm. Unfortunately, I do not know all of these off the top of my head as to their color. I think feldspar is white. Feldspar? I think that's supposed to be feldspar. Amazonite, mica, yeah, that looks fine. And then, of course, I just gotta clean all this up bit by bit by bit. Okay, I don't know where I left off because it is another night of recording now. I have lots of puppies, lots of chicks, lots of ewes. Llama. Giant hamster is trained. That is very good. Unavailable. Can I do war? No. Puppy. I cannot do war cobras. Dang it. Can I do a war hippo? I cannot. How about a hunting hippo? No, I didn't think so. Everything should be war and, and trainable. I mean, depending on how much effort the dwarves want to put into it, right? I mean, jeez. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's figure something out. First of all, I want to see if anybody's cleaning again. I want you all to clean. But, oh, hey, he's cleaning. I'm so proud of you. If only they weren't making a mess faster than he was cleaning. <clears throat> but what we need... Hey, look, I, I did put in some more. This here's, I think, all dark. This is all white and... No, 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 no. This is all middle gray. White and dark gray. I haven't put in any others. And in fact, actually, what the heck is this? This is wrong. I'm going to have to put in the correct thing. So, oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Obsidian. Man. I'm, I mean, I mean, up an extra two masonries, and they're still having a hard time keeping it up with production for blocks. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. I started recording because what I wanted to do, wanted to do, was produce a jail somewhere. But I'm not sure where is an appropriate place for a jail. Should we put him put a jail outside? Do you think somewhere exposed to the elements? You know, like like if a titan comes along or something. That wouldn't work though for my dwarves, because presumably I'd want to rehabilitate said dwarves. God, it's such a mess. I wish there was something. I, I I'm sure there must be something I can do about it. Where should there be a prison? How is our justice system anyway? Whoops. Z. Justice. They want 11. Do I have any chains? I've got cages. I've got cages. In fact, um... Gosh, I'm wasting time here. Where should we put this? Where should we put this? Hmm. Not in storage. Not near a fun place. Hmm. Not near future growing spots. Those, I, 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 except for over here, which where it doesn't work. I've isolated these to be used for just just soil, so that it will start to grow with uh, uh, cavern stuff as soon as they break into one. You know what I also need? I need more obsidian. So how's about... Yeah, okay, let's... Let's figure this, let's do this. We got this, right? Let's start this up. Uh, I think it was this, right? And then this? No! No, I did it wrong. This probably means that I'm going to need... This is going to be longer, I think, than these. Actually, no. I'll just do it... Mm. Crap. I'll do it the same. I will not do it the same. What am I talking about? Okay, so here's what I got so far. I need to clean this out. Uh, as you can see, it's quite a long corridor. In fact, maybe I should be, like, clever. 
Should I be clever? No, I don't think being clever is clever. Hmm. Come to think of it, I don't need... Hmm. I don't need that much space. Do I? I want a lot of bottlenecks. I want anything that tr can escape to be recaptured, obviously. But I think maybe I have more than I actually need. So I'm going to carve this up like so. Probably would have had an easier time if I'd thought of this sooner. Let's see. Five. One. Four dot four. I think. No, I don't want to do that. It's okay. But I want to do that instead. Let's see. So, three. Whoops. Crap. Oh, I should probably mention. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Is that right? Yes, it is. Uh, this weekend, this past weekend, I went up to upstate New York, a place called Herkimer, which was distressing in a way, um, to do some rock hounding, which is this thing that people like, who, who like to, you know, dig for rock <laughs> and gemstones will do. And it was good. We found some stuff, mostly just quartz, but unusual quartz. It doesn't usually do this thing with... Um, this, this double termination thing that it did or does at that location that's quite unusual. I'm okay with this, I think. We got, let's see, six, seven, so 14 things. Let's see, what's down here? I almost want maybe to start a couple of other spots as well for unusual captures, shall we say? Uh, but yeah, rock hunting. It was pretty good. Uh, Hergamer itself was a town. It's like a war zone. It was like, or not, it was like it had been. It was really in a terrible shape. And, and it was very distressing to see, really. I, I'm living near DC as I am. I, you know, things are in. The economy is decent here, and it's not necessarily decent everywhere else. What am I even doing? I want down here. I mean, I like the shape, but what I want is another bottleneck, and then. Places, a museum, a, a zoo, maybe? Ugh, what am I doing? Sorry, I'm distracted. Trying to talk and think at the same time does not work. I'm telling you right now, does not work. So we got, actually, let's make this five by five. This is slow, I know, when I'm really just trying to chew up time on this episode. This is not necessarily a bad way to do it. But yeah, we, uh, we, uh, Rockhound, Ed, and it was good. Oh, man, that poor town, though. That, their school was up for sale. Or a school, I don't know if it was the school, but one of their police cruisers was rusty. Stores on the main street were gone. They were just empty for the most part, except for this one guy who was selling, um, cat trees. And he had this sign in his head. It's like, upon request, we'll make, you can have a free, well, no, we'll make peanut butter and jelly sandwich for free upon request. And I thought that was pretty, pretty neat. That was, that was just taped to the inside of the window. Alright, so what, let's see. Now what I need to do... Let's see. I'm thinking in each room there'll be a spot where I can put the creature and sequester it in a way that it can be seen, maybe? I don't know if that will work. But we'll, we'll carve it out and I'll figure it out then. Lolor Kugengongith, Axe Lord, has bestowed the name 
Buza Tajir Ethad Matul upon his copper battle axe. I'm not sure a ba copper battle axe deserves that, but let's see. Twig breeds the decency of dance. <laughs> this is value 136. Description well crafted battle axe. Uh, no other. No other really interesting stuff to say about it, but that's interesting in in, in and of itself, anyways. I like this. Look at this. Uh, these are a bit old now. No, not too old. But the stray chick looks surprised by the ferocity of the axe lord, axe lord's onslaught. <laughs> so wait a minute. Let's see. Well, that's all they have to say. It's just neat. The rooster child is sparring. The dog child is sparring. The hen is sparring. The hunting dog, the dog child, the alpaca is sparring. Seems the uh, miners have reached the lower of the two sections. Still working their way through the upper, though. We'll be putting in the wood cages down here, because these these are just for dwarves. These are not supposed to be terrible accommodations. Let's see, a sign. No, I don't want a sign. I want, there we go. Make, make room for justice. Can I not? Why can't I use it for justice? Why is that blank? Owner free? What am I missing? Make room. What? Justice, justice. Why why won't you let What's going on? Whoa! It's resolution error! Okay, so... I'm uh, working on some rooms for, presumably, like, Captain of the Guard... I don't know. Who, what, what do I have? I need a champion and hammerer. So I think maybe they'll live down here. You know what I don't... I also need... I need an official hospital. But what this guy here doing, he's putting in a metal cage, and I'm gonna see if maybe that's why. This is... Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Goblin's already in there. Crap. That's not what I was expecting. Um, make room. Right? Justice. So apparently I can't use wood cages for justice. Ugh. Well, that kind of stinks. I didn't realize it, but a couple of my... The childs have grown. So for the time being, because this is what I need most, I'm asking them... It's a clean... Oh, this one is different. Farms. Well, that's not so bad, though. Let's see, who have we got? Captain of the Guard is Lore. Does Lore already... We don't have anybody who has relevant skills to be any of these things. What does a champion need? Champion of Alasanath is going to be... Not the mayor. Maybe one of these peasants. Cleaning peasants. What do they need? They need a modest quarters and cabinet. So this one already has a room. Hammerer, also no relevant skills, will also be a peasant. Day Gil. I think Day is either magma or lava. It's one of the new words. What do they need? Quarters and one cabinet. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to change that up. But for now, the champion will live here. Oh, and this room hasn't been worked on yet. Ah, uh, crap. And I'm gonna have all those things removed. Uh, and I'm gonna have to have cages made. All of metal. Just, I just don't know about that. So wait, I need the champion to not have room elsewhere. Let's see. Champion. 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 Nobody. See, I've got... I've been keeping my population down, so... I don't really have a problem with rooms. I know uh, we've often, my wife and I, referred to this game as uh, Bedroom Fortress just because it was rather difficult sometimes to keep up, but I don't seem to have that problem with this one. Come on, champion. Champion. Come on, champion. Where else are there bedrooms? There's a few up here. Manager. The manager deserves a more official quarters and uh, whatnot as well. But that's still... Oh, there's some bedrooms up here. Let's see. Ooh, not a bedroom? 
Dwarven Brewer. Nobody. Maybe I should increase the uh, population cap. The frame rate is not too bad yet. Peasant. Dwarven Child. It says I. It, What? What other? What am I missing? There are no, definitely other bedrooms around here somewhere. Where could they be? I mean, it just told me the person has one. Baron, Baron Consort, Baroness. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, there's a bunch down here. So yeah, I guess I'll wrap it up with this. The making of Captain of the Guard. Eh, they should move eventually. Actually, a lot of these quarters down here I intend to be retired, but we'll see. They c I wonder what they can become in the future. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what was I saying? I'm gonna oh, champion! Alright, you now are a bedroom for anybody else who happens to want one. So yeah, that that's it for now. See you guys next week. Uh, maybe what I'll try, since my first siege went so well... Ooh, what have we got out here? Emu. Ooh, we've got emus in cages. Cool. Train. Train. Oops. Train. Train. Cool. <sighs> I think I had one more puppy. But anyways, maybe soon we will look for uh, a cavern and expose our dwarves to those kind of dangers. Spice the uh, series up just a little bit. As, uh, I have to say, that first siege was a bit of a pansy siege. So we need to up the game just a little bit. Anyways, yep, 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 yep. See you guys next week. Mm -hmm.